everyone. Hey, welcome to another episode of The Front. As always, you can check out the website at leadtheteam.net for free sales training, for motivational content, and for leadership tips. And if you would, cruise on over to leadtheteam.tv and subscribe to the YouTube channel. I would love to have you join me when new episodes are released, so make sure you hit that little bell notification icon. So today, I'm going to be talking about fortitude right now on The Front. Thanks for tuning in to Lead the Teams, The Front. Yes, thank you so much for taking the time to tune in and join me today. My name is Mike Phillips and I will be your host. This is The Front and I'm going to be talking about a simple subject today. The topic is fortitude. And in addition to talking about what fortitude is, that's going to lead us into some discussion on character and leadership. And I love all these subjects and how they come together. First, let's talk about the definition of fortitude. Fortitude is courage in the face of pain and adversity. So when that's coupled with character, which is that mental and moral strength of an individual, if you've got fortitude and you've got character and you're headed into a leadership role, that is one of those just awesome combinations, like a deadly combination where you will be just an absolutely unstoppable leader for whatever field it is that you're headed into. So as I said, the focus of the conversation today is fortitude. And the reason being, I think fortitude is such a a valuable trait in leadership because things don't always go smoothly, right? They don't always end up exactly how we want them to. It's not all sunshine and rainbows in business. You know, regardless of how your business or how your department or how you as a leader may look to the outside world, things are not always perfect. And so fortitude is one of those things that will allow you to remain consistent. It will allow you to it, it's be like a duck, right? The duck can be paddling like heck under the water, but on the surface, everything looks like it's just smooth. It's cruising along constant, consistent, and relaxed. Now in business, we've all worked with good leaders. We've worked with some great ones. We've worked with some not so good ones. And there are certain people that just have that fortitude and that confidence and that display of character. So you kind of get an idea of what I'm talking about when you've come up through business and you've looked at it as a staff member, an employee level to work for somebody that just has that constant silent confidence about them. Okay, so I'll give you an example. Let's say you're the GM or the GSM or the marketing person in an automotive dealership, or let's say you're the GM in a retail business or a toy store, it, it, it doesn't matter. If you are somewhere working with customers, and let's say that your customer traffic is light, right? There's less foot traffic. There are less people walking into your retail facility. As a person that's in a leadership role, do you just lose it? Do you lose your cool and you start being frustrated with your people or you yell at your people and you say, hey, all you got to do, here's what you have to do. You've got to drive more traffic. You, 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 you have to get on the phones and do this. You have to do that. You have to figure out what's going on and why there's less people here. Or are you the type of person that's going to slow down and ask really good questions? Do you buckle down and ask the question, why? Why is it possible that my traffic may be off? Do you ask what is happening with the traffic? Do you take the time to inspect on what's going? Do you take the time to inspect what's going on outside of your business? Those external influences that may be affecting you internally. Do you take the time to train your people? And reinvest in things that they may have forgotten and really sharpen their saw, so to speak, so that the, their skills are really on point. Do you take the time to run alongside them? Do you take the time to pick up a shovel and start digging? Right, Because if people see that you're willing to be invested, if they see that you're willing to participate alongside them, then they'll be a lot more invested with you. When you do those things, are you truly invested yourself in getting the traffic where it needs to be? In that example, if it's that traffic is off. If you freak out or you lose your cool at the first sign that something goes sideways, and then you refuse to invest with your people and in yourself, you won't stay in a leadership role very long. 
It's maybe not for you. Maybe you need somebody to give you that direction, right? However, the people that are the best leaders that I've encountered in my time in business are the ones that just play it cool. They stay consistent. They do have that fortitude. They have the courage to say, no, we will make it through this. They have consistency and will about them that everything will work out. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't ever change things, right? If things are broken, sometimes it takes you in business making a change, making an adjustment, changing the way that you're approaching things, changing your process, changing. There's all kinds of other things in the business. That's not what this episode's about. I'm not saying you should never change it. One of the keys to getting back on track is remaining consistent in the things that got you to be successful. Now, I've said that many, many times before, but that truly is one of the big keys to success is maintaining that cool confidence and making sure that it, you first inspect the existing things that you're doing. You know, because you may assume or you may think that something is happening and it's not actually happening that way. And if those things are not happening the way they are supposed to, how can you question your processes, your policies, your procedures? How can you jump in and start to change them if maybe they haven't been being enforced in the first place? Right. That's one of the first places a leader has to have that that strength and that fortitude and character to go and look and ask the right questions. See, when you stay calm and you show people that you care and that you're invested and you're willing to pull up the bootstraps and go to work alongside people, that's one of those things that it may be one of the most defining moments in your leadership career when you're willing to jump in the trenches and run alongside people. When you have the, the character to do that, and it shows that you have that, that fortitude to have the courage and say, that's okay, we're experiencing pain and adversity right now, but we're all gonna get through this and we're gonna get through it together. So that's my whole message today on the front. Thank you so much for taking the time to tune in and join me. I really, truly appreciate you. As always, if you've gained something out of this episode, please give it a thumbs up, share it on your social media. One more thing, I've added a Lead the Team shop. You can go to leadtheteam.net forward slash shop and collect really cool lead the team gear with the the fire lion logo on it i'll be adding some more stuff as time goes on but please go check it out right now you can get 15 percent off your order and so i would encourage you go and do that thanks again for taking the time to tune in and join me and until we speak next i hope you have an absolutely fantastic day we'll talk to you soon everybody